the BJP has released its third list of candidates. After quitting as Telangana governor and Puducherry lieutenant governor, Tamil Sai Soundarajan has been fielded from Chennai South. So it's not Tutukudi, it's Chennai South. Tamil Sai Soundarajan had rejoined BJP after resigning as governor. Of course, she had resigned as governor midway and not really completing her term. With a very cheerful goodbye to Telangana as it were, Tamil Nadu BJP chief Annamalai has been fielded from Coimbatore. This is the third list that is coming at this point. I'm being joined by my colleague Dharani at this point. Dharani, how do you look at this list? Do we know who the key contenders to these constituencies are? Well, uh, the list for Tamil Nadu BJP, the first list uh, as far as Tamil Nadu BJP is concerned is out from Delhi and uh, of course, interesting list of candidates. Uh, Tamil Nadu BJP chief Annamalai will be contesting from Kaimutur parliamentary constituency and Tamil Nadu Soundarajan will be contesting from Chennai South and it's uh, a party's vice president Vinoj P. Selvan from Chennai Central and we also have a uh, minister of uh, state L. Murugan contesting from the Nilgiri, uh, you know, parliamentary constituency. Remember, uh, the GMK has fielded uh, A. Raja, uh, you know, uh, from Nilgiri so it's going to be a uh, Murgan versus A Raja in the Nilgiris. And the interesting uh, choice here is Mr. Annamalai because for the past uh, one month, uh, speculations were rife that uh, uh, Annamalai may be given a Lok Sabha a seat, uh, but uh, he has been uh, consistently refusing to comment on it. But this time it has become official uh, from Delhi. We are looking at a list in which uh, Annamalai uh, is uh, Annamalai's name is featuring against the Kaimutur parliamentary constituency. He'll be a uh, fielder. Uh, you know, uh, 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 by the BJP from Coimbatore. Uh, so definitely, uh, Annamalai, uh, the chance of him winning the Coimbatore seat is uh, pretty much high, I would say, because uh, Annamalai is, uh, is, is is naturally from the western region of Tamil Nadu. His native is Karur, which is located in the western region of Tamil Nadu. And uh, the, the western region is uh, uh, highly comprising of Gounder Woods. So Annamalai himself uh, belongs to the same community. And considering all these factors, uh, there is a, a pretty much a higher chance that he may uh, win this Coimbatore uh, seat. So apart from uh, them, we also have uh, IJK party's chief Parivinder contesting from Parambalur, uh, Nainar Nagendran, who is a current MLA from BJP, he will be contesting uh, for MP for an MP seat from Tuchikoren and Mr. Pond Radha Krishnan from Kanyakumari. Uh, so it's going to be uh, Kanimoli Karnanati versus oh. Nainar Nagendran uh, from Tuchikoren this time. Do we know Dharani who would be against uh, Tamil Sai Soundarajan? Well, uh, the GMK has a uh, fielder. Uh, Tamilachi Tangapandian, uh, you know, in Chennai South and DDMK has fielded J. Jaivardhan. I must say both of them are equally uh, tough candidates because Tamilachi, uh, uh, you know, won from uh, Chennai South in 2019. Uh, she is an incumbent, you know, candidate. Uh, she won from the Chennai South constituency with a pretty good uh, vote margin. And as far as Jaivardhan is concerned, he is the son of a uh, former ADMK minister, Jai Kumar. So uh, definitely it's going to be a tough fight between uh, Tamilachi Soundar Rajan, J. Jaivardhan and uh, 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 Tamilachi Tangapandian. Uh, Chennai South is definitely one of the main constituencies in Tamil Nadu uh, as far as this whole Lok Sabha polls is concerned. Everybody will be looking at this constituency because it's going to be a very tough fight between uh, the GMK, ADMK and BJP. All the three candidates, uh, be it Tamil Asai, Tamil Achi, Tanga Pandey or Jai Bardhan, both of them have, e have equal following in the constituency, uh, are equally familiar. All of them are familiar faces, so it's going to be a very uh, neck-to-neck uh, fight between all the three. You know, just one last question, Dharni, before we move on. Um, Tamil Nadu largely has been a forte of the AIA, DMK and the DMK. Now, this time with AIA, DMK as well as the BJP, both of them uh, splitting grounds, contesting separately. How are the voters, how, how's the vote looking like? Is it going to be adding to the advantage for DMK or is there something else that may be looked into? Well, one thing that we can say for sure is that the BJP is trying into uh, is, is trying to eat into the votes of ADMK because, uh, you know, uh, uh, as far as PM's uh, frequent visits to Tamil Nadu are concerned, in many stages he has taken the name of Ajay uh, Jailalitha and uh, MGR in a positive way. He has spoken very positively of them. Uh, so this is an indication that the BJP is uh, trying to, uh, you know, eat into the vote bank of ADMK. And as far as alliances are concerned, uh, the BJP, uh, you know, was able to bring in uh, the Padali Makal Kachi into their uh, fold. But on the other hand, the ADMK has brought... Uh, 
uh, the DMDK late Vijay Khan's DMDK into their fold. So as far as alliances are concerned, both of them pretty much have uh, you know enough you know equal strength. I must say, uh, of course, it's not uh, you know uh, uh, stronger than the right. DMK's alliance, but still. Uh, the bjp and the, uh, you know uh, admk they seem to have a pretty much uh, you know similar strength as far as alliance are concerned but uh, uh, it's it's turned, it, it's going to be mostly about the developmental uh, uh, you know uh, promises and also about uh, the dmk's uh, report card their you know past 3 years report card assembly report card that is going to reflect in this parliamentary election right